everyone or good afternoon welcome back to my channel i thought i would start this vlog just kind of doing a bit of an update slash makeup routine my skin at the moment i actually can't i feel like i might cry i have got what you can see is quite a sore outbreak which is really unlike me so I don't really know what's going on but I'm going to get a facial tomorrow so hopefully that will help but yeah I've just kind of had a bit of a bit of an outbreak with some very angry spots but you know what that's life and we move on I had a massage last night I'm really doing this kind of might be a bit of like a a pampering vlog as well because I'm kind of just I don't know I had a really weird week like my skin's broken out I was feeling really unmotivated really just like in just a weird headspace i don't even know why or what or what caused it maybe it's january i kind of always sometimes get a bit funny this time of year I, who knows maybe the moon maybe I, I i i do not know but i just thought i'm gonna get myself a massage just to make myself feel a lot better and actually it really helped like i slept so so well and i woke up feeling so revived i got the neom organic massage by secret spa so they come over to your own they come over to your home and they do it for you here and jordan and i got one and i was just like he's super stressed with work i'm super stressed and it just kind of like i even felt like it was really weird all the tension here in my neck and it just relieved me it was weird like i woke up feeling i slept so well and i woke up feeling so good but anyway whilst i'm talking and babbling on even though i can't really multitask i thought I would do my everyday makeup, really simple, to show you a few products that I use because I haven't actually done anything like this or talked about what I'm using at the moment at all. Not an ad, just thought I would show you whilst I'm doing my makeup. So I always start off with the MAC uh, Strobe Cream. Just I, It just makes my skin quite hydrated, especially in winter. My skin, it's not really, as you can see, I'm, I'm a summer girl. I thrive in summer. I definitely don't thrive in winter. I did a little bit of foundation, which is the Hourglass Ambient uh, Soft Glow Foundation in shade four. I just add a tiny bit of that because it's quite pale. And then I also add in a little bit of this It Cosmetic CC Cream, which is amazing, but also a bit more of a darker shade. So I kind of just like make a bit of concoction on the back of my hand and paint it all over this face i've got a little mirror down here just to help me see what i'm doing so yeah update for you all guys i've got dylan coming around in a minute to do my hair i really am having like some sort of i don't know pampering week i just thought oh, you know what i'm not feeling good about myself so i'm gonna book a facial book a massage get my hair done and start a vlog to be productive <laughs> got loads of exciting things coming up and i feel like january is such a weird month firstly i feel like it's dragged on for literally years and secondly it's nearly over and when it's february february is such a quick month and then it turns to march and the light is at the end of this very dark winter tunnel we have been in oh my god look at my lips i also see loads of youtubers do like this and they talk whilst they're doing the makeup and their makeup always looks like they're like ridiculously good whereas i'm a bit nervous this is just gonna look a bit terrible i'm now just gonna use mercia concealer which is in shade c1 so it is really light but i thought i wanted a lighter shade just so i could kind of almost use it as a bit of like a just highlight the areas as well <laughs> yeah i mean not gonna lie i obviously not long ago put on my instagram that i wasn't sure if i was gonna do made in chelsea again and i after a long old th thought and a bit of a a mind map i decided that i'm gonna do another series and then take it from there i mean I just feel like whilst I'm still like, you know, not a mum or not engaged or at that kind of like next part of my life and my journey, 
I kind of, there is just no reason for me not to do it. Like Jordan's obviously got his own life and his own job and his own career. So he's not really keen on doing it at all, to be honest with you, just because it's very stressful having a relationship on camera. And I'm so grateful that he's even come on because the fact that he's done a tiny bit of filming to me is just like incredible because it just means like, you know, you guys as a viewer know who he is so I can talk about him and it just kind of makes more sense. However, I really just, I'm not having a full blown relationship on camera again. Like I've done it, I've been there and I refuse to do it again. It's too stressful. It's too like, I've just grown out of it. And to be honest, they don't work. Like relationships on TV, a reality TV show, they don't last unless you leave the show, you know? Like, who wants to watch? Let's be real here. Who wants to watch? By the way, I'm now using um, this, which I use all the time. It's the Kevin Coin, Kevin Coin. That it is a really thick concealer, which I put over my spots and under my eyes just to like, make me look like a different person, to be honest. Yeah, so I was just saying like, let's be real. Okay, as a TV show, or on a TV show, who wants to watch a happy couple, like, or loads of happy couples? It's fun for a bit, but then people want drama, and I'm just not willing to give that anymore in my relationship. Like, to be honest, Jordan and I have no drama anyway. We're very, like, I don't know, we're just, I want, like, we are just really good, <laughs> to be honest. We just get each other, we, we just work so well. So it's not like we're drunk. We don't have anything really, I don't know. We're just an adult relationship now. Like a, I wanna say like a proper relationship. And I just wanna concentrate on that as well as like, obviously I love Made in Chelsea. I think it's an incredible show and I've enjoyed doing it. Obviously I've had my ups and downs and it's really difficult sometimes being on a show like that because you know, sometimes your stories get told in a different way that they actually were. A bit like Bali series, but we won't go into that. Um, and yeah, I just think I'm gonna do it for another series because I actually had so many messages being like, please don't leave, please, I beg you. And I actually felt a bit guilty. So I've decided to stay. So there she is doing what we call another series but i'm also thinking about doing a podcast and i don't know what you guys think of this but i'm toying with the idea one side of me is like okay are they a bit done slash what the hell would one talk about sorry my back hurts what the hell would i talk with like what would make mine different and to be honest, the answer is probably not a lot. I was thinking about maybe doing it on my own and then kind of like having different guests each week. A bit like Stephen Bartlett. Not that I'm anything like him, but you know what I mean. And then I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm going to have a few meetings with a few different companies and just, you know, put the feelers out there. 2023, I've obviously got Bikini Bible and we've got some really exciting things going on with Bikini Bible um, for next our next collection, like, it's by far my favorite, but I want more, you know? I wanna be doing more. Like what's my new project of 2023? Is it a podcast? Is it another investment in something? I don't know. What do I do, guys? I'm in a rut. See, this is the problem, that like, you get to a point that you manifest things in your life, and you're like, oh my God, like, I can't believe it. I can't wait till I have that much money or can't believe like so I'm doing that in my career and you get to a point and then once you've got it like that like I remember Molly May saying in one of her vlogs that she or a podcast or some interview that she did but I just it stuck with my in my mind she was like you know she always dreamed of earning a million pounds and then when she made a million pounds or had a million pounds in her bank account she was like it she didn't f even feel that good about it it's so true like are we ever happy? I'm getting so deep on this. Are we like, are we ever, am I, like, I've decided, like, maybe I just need to stop worrying so much about kind of what my next steps are and just actually enjoy the steps I'm doing. I feel like I'm having like, 
a therapy session with my camera right now because I feel like this is so funny that if you actually think about this whole situation I'm sitting talking to a camera I'm not even talking to people but I am and I feel like I am so you know I feel like maybe I just need to actually enjoy what I'm doing and stop wanting more you know enjoy the moment anyway that's probably saved me 200 pounds worth of therapy how are you guys like what are you all up to what's been what's been going on what's new i kind of feel like this is why by the way i don't do makeup on camera because look at the state of it uh but by the way right now i'm using copper copper by nars um, I'll link all of these things that I'm using below for you all so you can uh, see if you like the look of anything. God and I are thinking about moving in together in May, which will be very, very nice. And I'm very excited about that. Um, so we're going to start having a look around now for houses. We will just be renting again, probably only for like a year, hopefully. So right now I don't actually think it's a very good time to buy a property. So I'm kind of holding off for another year or, yeah, another year. So... We thought, oh, well, let's just get a fresh start, move in together, get ourselves a cute little place. And I do feel like I haven't stopped moving, though. I am really ready to have my own place and make it my own, but I know I have to wait for the right time. Now I just don't feel like it is the right time. I feel like it's just a really just, I don't know, I just don't feel like it's the right time. Something in my gut's telling me to wait, and, I'm, and I genuinely don't know what it is. So I am just going to wait. Well, we're going to wait, because we'll probably end up buying together. I'm now using this mascara, which, by the way, is amazing. It's the Yves Saint Laurent Mascara. And today, I'm just going to have, like, a very... I got up really early this morning, because I was feeling a bit sluggish and gross yesterday. I had filming all day. Came home, had my massage, and... I basically got up really early, I got up at 7.30 and I like, you know sometimes you just need to give your house like a good clean just to make yourself feel good so like I did my ironing, I changed my bedding and I actually feel so much better for it, obviously Dylan's coming out, I kind of got a day just at the flat getting some bits done so I thought I'd start obviously my little YouTube vlog. I'm going to see The Lion King tomorrow as well. Me and Jordan have been on some West End hype. His family love going to the theatre so we've like, I've seen like three different shows in three months which is incredible because I've enjoyed them all. Saying that I went to see, what did I go see? We went to see Wicked which was unbelievably good and then we went to see um, Hamilton it just, it wasn't actually a bit of me, Hamilton, I'm not going to lie. It was just, I don't know, I didn't get it. I think it's like Marmite, you either love it or you hate it. By the way, this is Spice. No, it's not. It's stripped down. So, that's exciting. Lion King I have seen before, but when I was literally seven years old, I think my mum actually took me and my friends for my seventh birthday or eighth birthday or something. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And then this weekend, I'm just gonna chill on Sunday. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing nothing and I cannot wait. I'm gonna go to Surrey, I think, and just like probably do nothing. And it's gonna be quite nice. I'm gonna do some nice long walks and be wholesome, you know? We had a busy weekend last weekend and I just, I think that's why I was feeling a bit funny. I hadn't really drank, um, obviously when we were away we drank when we were skiing, but I haven't really drank before that, I'm really just off drinking at the moment. I know before you all ask, I am absolutely categorically not pregnant, but I'm just off it, like it does really, I cannot believe how horrid it makes me feel and how like unmotivated and sluggish. I'm fine having like a glass of red wine with a dinner, but if I have like, if I go out for, but like we had a few birthdays at the weekend and I was like out until like two in the morning, um, we just went to like Amazonica and Archer Street and stuff like that. But if I go out and I like, drink more than just like a casual few glasses at dinner, it's a just, it's a no for me. Like I just, I'm just, I'm old now, I think. I must be old. But anyway, this is my makeup fully done now. This, which I just used on my lips is the NYX Butter Gloss. And it is in shade Madeleine. And I absolutely love this. It's really cheap as well, but it's incredible lip gloss. And there we have it. I feel like a 
normal human being now i feel like my skin actually doesn't look too bad oh my god i've forgotten to put on any blusher the blusher i used the charlotte tilbury glowgasm wand which i absolutely love i'm actually going to get the um a few more of those i need to have a little update of my makeup so let me know if there's any products which you guys are using at the moment which you absolutely love actually what i'm probably going to do because i'm probably going to have this makeup on all day i'm just going to add a little bit of the translucent powder just to keep it all on and there we have it guys i just rambled to you a little bit but there we go um, Dylan will be here any minute now, so I'm going to go down to Concierge and get some parcels that have been delivered for me. And, yeah, then get my hair done. So we've actually got a lovely little easy day today. To the theatre today to watch Lion King, well, this evening. Um, but we're going for dinner before, so we're going for, like, a nice early dinner. I don't know what to wear tonight. I'm also really out of breath, just from showering, which is quite worrying at this point how cute my nan and granddad came up today and why are grandparents just so cute my nan brought me up some donuts and some flowers <laughs> i cry grandparents are just the soul of the earth I love mine more than I love life. I'm going to wrap them in cotton wool so they just stay around forever. I'm actually so lucky that I'm 27 and I still have my grandparents. And they're actually fit and healthy. They're only, they're not even 80 yet. They're like 77. So they're just, I can't. They're the cutest. They are the cutest. Anyway, I'm just, I don't know what to wear. I'm thinking keeping it casual, but maybe with like a nice, pair of blue boots and a blazer. I'm gonna have a little look in my wardrobe now and try to pick an outfit. I've decided what I'm gonna wear. I will show you what I decided to put on. But yeah. <laughs> I went for quite a casual look this top is from wisdom of freedom or wisdom of wings Wis wings of wisdom i think it's called um my jeans are just zara and belt is and other stories and then i'm just gonna pair it with i actually don't know what jacket i'm gonna wear yet just because it's freezing outside it looked cool with a leather jacket but i think it might be too cold for that so i'm gonna have to go for something slightly warmer or put a hoodie or something over the top we've gone for quite chilled vibes i'm about to get the tube which I'm proud of myself because I never normally get the tube, but I'm going to Holborn, so it's actually probably quicker for me to get a tube in rush hour than it is for me to get an Uber. So, being a good girl, just getting the tube. And I'm going to a place called The Pie Room, which is in the Rosewood Hotel, so I'm going there for dinner uh, with Jordan and his family, which will be really nice. Well, like a late lunch, well, like 5.30 dinner. And then, yeah, to The Lion King. <gasps> I'm excited! <laughs> view of Lion King it was amazing apart from <laughs> um, apart from we were in the I get embarrassed when I'm vlogging outside but yeah basically it was amazing apart from someone decided to puke up uh, oh my god I've come the wrong way someone decided to puke up two rows in front of us so I spent from the interval just smelling of sick it really was just not pleasant and now i'm off to get a facial so yeah Quite a bit 
since my facial i've actually just put on now i've just jumped out of the shower i'm gonna go for a quick walk but um i've just put on all of uh, the sarah chapman products they are so nice i'm really just gonna let my skin breathe this week i think and try as wear as little makeup as possible and just lather it in hydrating products to try and just get it back too i mean they're definitely drying up and going down but it's taken like a week god knows why i just need to roll with it really isn't it it's just life and they're not that bad so yeah it's monday morning everyone sorry i didn't really vlog over the weekend i went to the twickenham rugby which was really fun and was just spending time with family really fresh start do love a monday it's now february and the sky is blue which is making me very very happy i'm excited just to feel good this week i'm gonna get back into the gym because i've kind of let that slip i make homemade meals from monday to friday this is my goals this week by the way so gymming three times this week ho cooking home food home cooking guys is just honestly the best because you know what ingredients they're putting in you know it's healthy it doesn't even need to be that healthy. I make home cook, I make I make a lot of pasta and you know, quite carby foods, but where I'm cooking it myself, I make, I'm cooking it with good oils, no butter. So things like that just make it so much better for you. That's my plan this week, obviously mixed in with jobs and work and housework and the rest of it. Where are we? Oh yeah, it was a montage. No, no, no. <laughs> I love how you're walking off like. <laughs> uh, we are at Kara's Stars event for your hair, wellness, um, you know, it's good for the health care. <laughs> and yeah. We're doing sound bar healing, so we're going to get zen. And not drink. So yeah, it's really good to come to an event and have no alcohol in there. Yeah, yeah. that's what we need. the gym which i'm so excited about because i haven't done a gym class in three to four weeks and i just cannot wait to get back in the gym and fully feel good again i really feel like actually the answer to my funny feeling at the moment which i've had for about two weeks now the lack of motivation the lack of drive i actually think it's because i haven't been gymming um, and that happens, you know, every now and then you just get out of habit and get out of kind of certain things that you do. And so that is why I don't fancy going. There's not one ounce of me that wants to go, but I know that as soon as I'm there, I'm going to feel really good. So I'm also going to wash my hair there. I'm going to do a steam, a sauna, which is just incredible for you. And yeah, come back and then crack on with some work. I have literally ju only just got back from the gym now. It's actually uh, quite late now. It's about seven o'clock. Basically, I went to the gym this morning. Through the class, the fire alarm started going off. So we all got evacuated. And it was quite interesting to see the people, the poor people that were swimming in the pool or like had just got out of the showers all had to come out, stand in the car park in their towels. No word of a lie. But I'm just kind of winding down now for bed. I'm going to quickly make a nice healthy dinner jordan's gonna come around in a minute but i just thought whilst i have kind of shown you my makeup routine it'd be a nice way to round off the video by showing you my evening skincare routine because to be honest i haven't really shown you guys what kind of products i use in ages um, and i'm constantly updating my skincare so um i think i've spoken to you guys about this deodorant before the natural deodorant I really recommend getting some of this you can just get it off amazon but it's such a good product and it's got no bad stuff in it it's it smells amazing and does actually work start with the elemis cleanser it's by far the best cleanser it makes my skin just feel so buttery after i absolutely love it so <clears throat> i kind of just wipe my face a little bit first just to get some water on it and then i get a scoop and i literally just i've got no makeup on i'm trying to let my skin breathe this 
this week so I haven't actually got any makeup to take off but it's still very important to cleanse. I actually sometimes do this in the shower as well. I then just use this Elemis Superfood Oil which I just put a little bit on, it smells amazing and my skin is particularly dry especially with this weather at the moment so I'm lathering myself with the Elemis oil which I love which is another really nice product and skincare eye cream this is by the way like I do try to do this most evenings but it tends to only be kind of I'm not gonna lie three times a week other than that I normally just I will always cleanse um I will always cleanse put on some oil and moisturizer but the eye cream I try and do when I have a bit of time like tonight that is honestly the best eye cream this Ren one it's called brightening dark circle eye cream I guess it's mainly for the daytime but it's unreal and then lastly I've been using these Sarah Chapman products which obviously I had a facial the other day by them and they are lovely this is the Sarah Chapman comfort cream de-stress which honestly it's lovely you use it like a little pump and the products are amazing i have to admit that was one of the best facials and i'm not just saying that it was one of the best facials i've ever had i've completely forgotten how important it is and how much my skin needs a facial like every i'm gonna start getting them twice three times a month i think if i can just because living in London, the dirt and the pollution and all the products and makeup I put on my face, like, it just needs a good clean from time to time. And then I finish it off with the Elemis Superfood Green Tea Mist, which, again, is this lovely calming smell. And that is it, to be honest, gang. I'm feeling very glowy. I'll link all the I will link all the bits that I've used below for you so you'll have it all there. But that is my evening skincare routine. I'll keep you up to date when I change any of my products because I get to have quite a lot of skincare stuff and I tend to do I do like trying out all different brands. Thank you much for watching. I'm gonna go and make some dinner now. Please like, comment and subscribe. Love you guys.